development, Reef Aquatics is proud to introduce the Smart Sun PWM LED controller. We'd like to showcase this device and run through a short demonstration of the product features. The unit comes out with four, four buttons, a menu button, two function keys which are your up and your downs and your escape key. Okay, pressing the menu button gives you various options to go into a demo or edit mode. So if we choose to go into the edit mode, we will choose the function key and we will go into the edit mode. Inside the edit mode, we've got storm edit, time edit and profile edit. So for example, the user has 256 profiles to set. Uh, a few profiles are already preset, namely the override profile. This is when we want to override the unit and we just would like to set the intensity of the blue and the white channels to 100%. Um, the default profile is a default coded profile for the lazy guys that don't want to set up the units and just use our default setting. Or you have your other profiles which you are able to configure yourself. A great option for one of the profiles could be to set it to a climate mode so when you're introducing new corals into the system you can choose a specific profile to set up a climate mode and, and take, your, take your, your lighting intensity up very very slowly. So if we go into our profile 3 we save the profile. This now becomes the active profile. Um, and let's say I'm not going to take you through the brightness setting, so I'm going to say no. So this is our current profile setting now. Next, I will take you through the demo of the profile. Give me two ticks to just to turn the light off, and then we will look at the profile demo on, on the tank itself. Here we go. Okay, so that is lights out. So now what we will do is we will choose the demo mode. We'll go demo mode. We won't choose storm demo, but we'll choose profile demo. Okay, so the ah, oh, that's a mistake. We've chosen the storm demo. I will have to quit out of that. I'm going back into demo and I'm using profile demo. Okay, so that takes us to our default setting profile. This basically be running through the hours of the morning now. So now we're on 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and at 6 a.m., there we go. A, light, a blues will be coming in slowly strong, and this is simulating a sunrise. 11 o'clock, we are full 100% uh, intensity for both channels. From 5 p.m., we start dimming out, and the sunset starts coming in. So there we can see beautiful, slowly, slowly setting on the reef. Okay, so here we quickly, while I'm there, I will take you through to the storm demo, which we will choose a storm demo, and that's the storm demo guy running there. So the storm demo, you have got an option to user configure it, and you will, you will have an option to execute the storm on your reef at any preset time chosen by yourself. Your options that you have is set your storm to run every day, every alternate day, every third day, every fourth day, right up to an option of every 30 days. So you can see it's comfortably user configurable. What I'll be doing now is I'll just be escaping out of the storm mode. Okay, there we go, quitting. Give me two seconds to switch on the lights. And just a little bit more about the product. Um, so again, I will should take you through to the demo mode. If we're going to demo, we can select the storm demo or the profile demo. Um, I can quit that. So very, very user friendly, very, very easy to drive. We will again go into menu, we'll go into edit mode, we'll press menu. Um, if we select the storm function edit, we can select the demo. We can actually configure the demo of the storm if we choose. So there we've selected the demo. We've got the storm intensity options where we got one, very rapid, two, very rapid, three, rapid, four, rapid, five is normal, 
6 is normal, 7 is a weak storm, 8 is weak, and 9 and 10 is very weak. Okay, entering that will set our storm intensity. We've also got a storm duration, how long you want your storm to run. So we can go from 1 minute right up to 256 minutes. So let's choose 1 minute. And your next option is, and that, and that is the demo. If we choose to go into the actual edit mode of the storm itself, the alarm, this is your function that will come in based on your user setting. So we're going into the storm alarm. This is where we will actually tell the unit at what date and at what time do we want to activate the storm function. So we've set the year. 2013 we've got the month which is the first month January and we've got the day which is today which is the third and we've got the time so let's say I want to trigger my my storm function to start at 11 o'clock 11 p.m. that would naturally be 2300 hours enter 20 past 11 if you please there we go and that will be the time saved here where our option is to set the intensity of the storm, so we'll go to very rapid, in other words, very random bright flashes, in other words, a big storm on, on, on your reef, that will be selected. That's your intensity saved, your storm duration, which we've been through before, and the next and final setting would be your storm frequency. The Earth's currently set to every day so every day at the specific time your storm function will trigger for example if we set it every three days so it will, it will trigger today and in, in in three days time your storm will trigger day etc so it's very very user configurable very very easy to understand um, so we set it every second days and your frequency is set and that's your storm function set that's about all about the unit. It's working fantastically. It's totally bug free. And we are very, very proud to announce that we are, will be putting the unit into production very, very soon and would be for sale. Thank you.